See our registration current proof insurance. When was the last time you uh, you were smoking? Uh, probably earlier today. Okay. So I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is your plates are expired in March. My partner, Deputy Diener, arrested a guy for DUI drugs this morning, about 9 o'clock this morning. Um, and I get this one a little bit after 1. So this is something that happens all day long. Hop on after me. Come talk to me here for a second. Hey, you got rid of that little roach that was in the center console there. Ah, I got you. Step on up over here. All right. Um, so, uh, obviously, walked up. There's smells like weed in the car. What time did you smoke this morning? Uh, probably like six long, probably ten. Okay. Did I, I got smoking on the back porch, and I got in the car, put it out. I got that. I got that feeling. So, all right. So this is what I want to do. I want to do a couple tests to make sure you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. Obviously. You got some weed in your body, so that's what I want you to do. Just turn around, put your hands on your back right now. You're gonna be under arrest for DUI. He's gonna take you to the office. I'm gonna meet you when I get there. Okay. okay. Oh, can I make your phone call real quick? Um, not not now, but I'm gonna grab I your don't... phone and bring it with you. Oh, okay. I was about to say yeah. Yo, this comments. Oh, you should take that person to jail. You should take this person to jail. Um, I don't disagree with that. I mean, I I really think more people should go to jail, but the act of booking someone into jail, completing the paperwork, transporting them to Florence. I don't have a cage in here, so then I have to find someone else to do it. Um, that takes me off the road from doing this job and pulling people over um, and finding impaired drivers and, and doing taking wrecks and doing the things that I do. Um, so unless it's something where someone has a warrant or um, there's some other extenuating circumstance, whether it's the number of previous violations or the gravity of the, the totality of the situation. Unless it's something like that, I really try to be as cool with people as I can. This guy's super nice. Super, super nice guy. We were just two dudes, you know, talking about a problem. Is there any reason I'm stopped in the middle of Hunt Highway here? No, because isn't the speed limit was 45. Okay, but I mean, when I turn my lights and siren on, why didn't you pull to the right, which would have been over there, nice and safe, or you could have made a right on Magma, which also would have been safe, and instead, I'm well, literally standing in the middle know, of Hunt I'm sorry, Highway. You, you, you turn off your last light. I know I have to stop somewhere. I'm sorry. So knowing you, you are not wrong in that you had to stop somewhere. In the middle of one of the busiest roads in Santan Valley is not the right place. This is not the somewhere to stop. So, the reason I stopped you is because your plates are suspended. Your first citation is failing to drive to the right curb for an approaching emergency vehicle. You are required by law to stop over there, so I'm not standing in the middle of the road. Speed limit here is 50. You were doing 72, 71, 72. Oh. Well, you. Yeah. I didn't, it didn't say that up here. Okay. It said 60 up here. I didn't know. Okay. Well, 60 is still more than 50. And you still passed me in traffic. So. All right, and is your driver's license suspended? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, well, it's gonna be. It's. It's about up. to be. It's about to be suspended. But I got my license. Okay, so we're on our our eleventh traffic stop of the day. Um, the first ten traffic stops were were totally boring. They were stops. I went up, got information, came back, wrote a ticket, or gave a warning, whatever it is. Um, those don't show up on, on Fridays with Frank. This stop is going to because this guy is, plates are suspended, driver's license is suspended, passes me at 21 miles an hour over, says he wasn't, all this stuff. But overall, Fridays with Frank is really a show made to both educate and entertain. Um, and if we put those first 10 traffic stops of the day on Fridays with Frank, you'd be asleep by now and you wouldn't even be listening to this. Your first citation is for driving while your license is suspended. Second one is for not having, or for uh, having a speed above reasonable imprudence, so 21 miles an hour over, displaying a plate suspended for financial responsibility, and not wearing your seatbelt. Ma'am, I know that you, uh, I know that your license is good, so if you could drive, that would be great. I'm going to give that to you there. That's your permit. No, that's okay. And be careful getting out there. You, uh, the reason I'm not standing on your driver's side is because it's, you literally parked right in the road. All right. And why they got cameras on all that stuff? What if we don't want to be on that camera? Don't get pulled over in Pinal County. 
Hi there. Hi. See your driver's okay, license, please. No, no, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Oh, sorry. Yep. R is for wreck. If you back into my car. <laughs> Any idea why I'm gonna stop you? Uh, speeding? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're almost 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get to the hospital. I get it. What's that other one that's right there? Mighty. Okay. When I first got here. All right. Is this? I'm like freaking the hell out right now because my son just got rushed to the hospital, so I'm like, kind huh? of like, yeah. What do you get rushed to the hospital for? <sighs> he's got the flu, but they're thinking he's COVID again. No. Oh, okay. So <laughs> he's only two and a half years old. So he's my first kid. So I'm a little <laughs> on edge right now. I'm it, like, <laughs> it happens. <sighs> so, but if you get there an extra three minutes faster, yes. is anything going to change? The answer is no. No, correct. I mean... Okay, so the answer is no, Yes. but driving at a criminal amount of speed is probably bad. And it's illegal. Yes. And if you get into a wreck, it substantially increases the possibility correct. of you having to go to the hospital. Now you don't help anyone. Correct. Not only were you doing a criminal amount of speed, but you know your license is suspended. It's been suspended since 2017. Okay. Like... I thought I had done. It is... Yeah, it's why you have a, a new ID card and an old driver's license. Well, the new one I've gotten. That's why I said, hey, man, that's an ID card. What's right. that? Because you handed me an old driver's license and a new ID card. They will not issue you an ID card if you have a valid driver's license. Right. So I knew that standing here. Okay. I was 100% ready to give you a warning for this. Okay. Until I found out that you're I'm not dri driving suspended. I'm so not, I know, I'm all not. we did, I did give you a break on the speed. You're doing a criminal amount of speed. I did not issue you a criminal citation. Okay. You are going to get a criminal citation for, for driving while your license is suspended. Okay. It's been suspended for like six years. Probably something you need to take can care I of. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I've been paying all my fines, paying all that. Mm -hmm. What else can I do to... All of that stuff goes through the court. That's not a me I've issue. That's courts, a court and issue. And the courts and the courts. They keep telling them to ask an officer. I've had an officer. We don't suspend licenses. Well, no, like, I that's not so. something Frank that's does on the side of the road. Like, yeah, hey, your license is suspended. Right. So, it's the, the it's between, MB, it's actually the probably the right answer uh -huh. is MBD. Okay. Because we don't suspend your license, but your license and, and ID cards come from MBD. Okay. So, that's you need to go and go, hey, look, okay. I'm taking care of all I need to take care of. I also need to work and take care of my family. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? Oh, uh, probably speeding. Like a criminal amount of speed. Like, like more than double the speed limit speed. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The speed limit on Hunt Highway, oh, oh, over here, is uh, 40 miles an hour. And your speed was 84. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I said, too. <laughs> I said the same thing. So Arizona law says you have to pull to the right, parallel to the rightmost curb, and remain stopped. Not into the left turn lane, which is where we're at right now. So now we're finally going, but all these cars around don't know what to do because I'm here with my lights on and this car is just doing whatever it wants to do, pulling to the left, pulling to the left again. Um, so that's not, it's not what's safe and it's not what Arizona law says to do. We're going to talk about that here in a second. Does that feel a little weird sitting there at that left turn arrow? Yeah. It feel weird? Yeah. Yeah, so it felt weird because what you did was against Arizona law. So Arizona law says you have to pull to the right, right? How long ago did you take your driver's test? Not that long ago. Okay. Do you know why I initially pulled you over? Speed? Yeah. yeah. Did you feel like you were, because you were changing lanes, going around slower moving cars? Well, as you're doing that, you should say to yourself, I'm going faster than everyone around me. And that's why I stopped you. So I don't think I introduced myself. I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Have you been pulled over by me before? Yeah. I don't remember you. you did? Because the only reason I say that is that pamphlet, I'm the only person that gives those out. And if you have one in your car, typically it's because of me. What did I pull you over for last time? The same thing. Speeding. Slow learning curve. Yeah, it happens. Oh. Um, so I stopped this car for doing 67 and a 45 today. On February 11th of this year, uh, she was doing 70 and a 45 on the same road, just a little bit further down that way, closer to uh, Walmart. And she got a criminal ticket on that date 
for exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour. And she is three miles an hour or less today um, and just late on her way to work. So she's going to get another criminal ticket today and now she's gonna go back so that she could learn um, about how to drive properly in Pinal County because she didn't learn the first time. Is your phone number still 480? Yes. Okay. You know where I got that from? Your last ticket. I know. You can't laugh and cry at the same time. You can't you can't do that. So all right. You're getting the same exact ticket into the same exact court in front of the same exact judge in almost the same exact spot. You're only three miles an hour less than you were last time. It's still a criminal offense. It's still a criminal offense because you're still more than twenty miles an hour of the speed limit and this is all like three months after the last time I wrote you the same ticket. So you have to understand that you know, you're weaving through traffic at a criminal amount of speed on the same roadway the last time I got you. So you have to understand that it's, it's literally my job to write this ticket.